1 fifth x minus 2 thirds equals 1 half x plus 3. Again, fraction nightmare for many students, but we can handle this, right? We're going to focus in on the denominators and just find the least common denominator. So pause the video here, see if you can find that LCD. Welcome back, I know you paused it. So here we've got 5, 3, and 2. So what, will, what number will all three of these go into? Well, 5 and 3, they'd both go into 15 would work, but we've got this 2. 2 doesn't go into 15 evenly. So 15 times 2 is 30. So did they all go into 30? Yes, they do. So we're going to multiply all of these by 30. Don't forget the little 3 out here. Okay, each term gets multiplied through by the LCD. Easy to not do. Now one thing I have not said yet, I don't think, but these take practice. I mean, you have to work these. You can't just watch the videos, as great as they are, I know. Um, you actually have to work through these and start making these decisions on what to multiply through by. A lot of little decisions here that, that I'm making and may make it seem a little easier than, than it really actually is. So you've got to be working these. So, um, now let's see what we got here. So 5 goes into 30. 6 times, 6 times 1x is 6x. Minus. 3 goes into 30 10 times, 2 times 10 is 20. Equals, see if you can do this right hand side. Okay, so 2 goes into 30 15 times, 15 times 1x is just 15x, plus 3 times 30, which is 90. Not too bad. We got rid of the fractions anyway, so let's do all this in one step here, at least this moving from side to side. So I always get the x term to the left, not always, but almost always to the left, and the constant term to the right. You could go either way. You could subtract 6x to this side. I'm going to go ahead and move the 15x. So subtract 15x from both sides. And in that same step, I'm going to move the constant term to the right-hand side. And those cancel. So what am I left with on the left-hand side? So 6x minus 15x is a negative 9x equals, and then 90 plus 20 is 110. One more step. Understood multiplication there. Negative 9x equals 110. And divide through by negative 9. So x equals 110 over negative 9. I'm going to bring that negative up. It just looks a little better in the top. So negative 110 over 9, you can certainly divide that into it. Um, those do not share any common factors, so I can't simplify that anymore. Now, if 3 went into 110, we want to go ahead and simplify that, but it, but it doesn't.